Hello guys and welcome to the next tutorial in which we will talk about unsigned data types and uh, this is the last video in this series that we will talk about data types okay so um, this is the last one and this is a pretty cool one so um, let's get to it so you know how in the beginning we talked about the, all the numbers the integers and short and byte and things like that and how the range is from the negative to positive well, this is the one that I showed you before, and I added the new ones that are, it's called unsigned, okay? So if you look at this top right here, these are the regular ones, and these are unsigned. And basically how you do it, you just put the U in front of them, and it creates unsigned. And what it basically means is that um, instead of negative to positive range, it starts from zero and goes to double of that okay um, so instead of you know 32,000 right here in short um, it goes to 65,000 and the best way to look at it um, so I'm gonna show you on the whiteboard um, so in the beginning um, so we said that uh, let's say we have the storage right this is how much you can store right and so this is the zero and then this is some number right here negative and this is positive right so this would be a regular integer for instance right now when you do let's say this is the int right here and then when we do um uh, other one the unsigned integer right so basically what it's gonna do is gonna just shift it right here so you can start from zero to twice as much of positive right so instead of using the space here that we have now we got extra right here so it basically creates twice as much of the positive number okay so and it's kind of used a lot in a way that if you know your numbers are going to be always positive that it will never go negative so if you're calculating for instance items in stock um, it should never go negative, right? So it can go to zero and then after that it raises the flag that you don't have any, right? Or if you're calculating people in household, right? It can be only zero. Or anytime that you know the number will not go uh, below zero, you can use unsigned and that creates a little bit higher range for you to use. Um, and so therefore uh, you can use unsigned integer and it, and it applies to only integers right here okay and remember these are the integers as well uh, there's 16 32 and 64 bits you cannot do unsigned double or unsigned decimal or unsigned float okay this only applies to the integers okay and another weird one that you know how in the beginning we talked about the byte and the byte is only from 0 to 255 so this is kind of unsigned byte but they don't have that what they have is the kind of reverse they have the regular byte from 0 to 255 and they have the s byte s byte that basically stands for signed byte basically signed means it can go negative or positive okay and this is kind of unsigned um, byte okay so the regular byte is from 0 to 255 and the signed byte is from negative 128 to positive 128 okay so keep this in mind we're gonna use this sometimes maybe if you if we need to um, I tend not to use them a lot but um, some people you will see that a lot actually in codes um, it a lot of times what it's used if you let's say do the input for the um, from the user we're gonna learn that very soon and you want to make sure that they don't enter the negative number you can use this unsigned so that negative value cannot be in there and if it's negative value you won't be able to assign okay so um, I'm gonna show you how it works here basically same way so we're just gonna u and and then we're gonna say x and assigned uh, a five right so this is this is gonna work right but if we put a negative number in here it's right away gonna yell at us right so if you don't want negative number and you know for sure that it can be um, and to avoid the errors you can assign um, unsigned integer and that way if the negative number gets in there you will get an error 
and your program will give you a warning so you can fix that problem okay so uh, this is it for the uh, data types we're gonna move on to the new topic next and uh, there's obviously more uh, different kinds uh, and we will get to that later but for now this is it let's move on to the new topic